Hey everybody, this is Dave and welcome back to part three of setting up an, a private VPN on a second router in your home that's connected to your first router. In my situation, I have the cable modem. I have an airport extreme uh, with normal connection to it. It reports my, uh, I, my external IP and everything and it's not safeguarded by my VPN. But I also have another router that's pretty much daisy chained to connect to my other router, um, my main router, and it has custom firmware on it called DDWRT. And this is a firmware that replaces the stock uh, firmware for this Netgear that I'm using. You can use multiple uh, different kinds. You go on the website and you check to see if your router is compa compatible. Uh, and you install the DDWRT, and now there's a section in there, a couple of sections where you can uh, set up the uh, private VPN. Now, I chose to use um, PIA and PI private internet access. Um, I went onto the web, I did a search, and Torrent Freaks, they have an article about uh, which VPN provider takes your anonymity uh, seriously. So they ask uh, 12 different questions about logs and things like that and what they would do in situations. And it seemed like PIA answered all the questions correctly. They don't keep logs. Uh, they have all different uh, safeguards to keep you secure. Now, they have other ones that answered the question. Uh, and it just seems like because all of the comments in my previous videos, a lot of people talked about PIA. So I figured I'd give them a try, and I figured I'd use it because uh, they also have a way to install it on DWRT so we can have our second router. I recommend you watch the previous videos to see uh, some of the steps that we did. And now let's install this. So once you sign up for uh, PIA, uh, you get a uh, username and password, and then pretty much you go onto the website and do clients and downloads. Uh, you have different apps that they offer. This is their app, their open VPN app uh, that you can install onto your Windows, your Mac, uh, your Android, your iOS device. And you pretty much put your username and password in and they configure it automatically. And then pretty much just like the Mac app, you can just connect to whatever uh, VPN server that they offer. Um, they also have a detailed setup guides and video instructions on how to set up uh, different devices and different platforms uh, but what we're interested in today because we're doing the du dual router setup is a DDWRT open VPN setup so we're going to install the private VPN that we subscribe to uh, this one's like $39 a year it comes out to like $3 a month I don't have any affiliation with them it's just it seems like I try them I'm sure they're all the same as long as they don't keep your logs and, and do things uh, the best they can to keep you uh, anonymous when you're browsing. So they also have the open configuration file. That's a file that has all the different servers uh, in separate little form and they also have a certificate uh, that you can uh, have there in your download. So pretty much I, I, I'm i gonna download it. I have it, uh, actually I don't have it there, so let me go ahead and download it. I'm gonna download that configuration file and then um, there's also a section where you go to for setup. So we have the setup here, and it's going to tell us step by step how to set it up with this DDWRT. So if I go into my uh, downloads folder, uh, you'll see the folder that we downloaded here. And then in this, you're going to see the certificate, and you're going to see all the different sites uh, where, where they keep their server. So we have that and we'll put that to the side for a second. Now we're gonna go step by step through. So if you go in and type your uh, IP address, mine happens to be 192.168.54.1, uh, uh, you type that into your browser and you hit enter. As long as you're connected to your Netgear uh, that shows up in the list, uh, you will get into the uh, control panel here. Uh, this is the custom software. And um, we're going to go step by step through and I'm going to show you all the different areas that you need to go to. So basically, uh, we go to set up, set up, and we scroll down here and we have to put uh, the DNS uh, 1, 2, and 3. So you basically 422, 422, 422, and then 123, see? So you basically put the numbers in here 
uh, if it's not enabled, enable it. And then you have to um, hit save and apply. So uh, also make sure that these uh, areas are checked off here. This this one here, DNS and DNS and, and this one here, DHCP, and leave that one unchecked. And then basically you just hit save and apply settings. Now, apply settings mm -hmm. is like a reboot, uh, but it's not a restart. Uh, uh, it's like a, a respring as opposed to a complete shutdown and turn back on again. So when it does this uh, apply settings, or when you reboot your router, you have to just go back in and make sure that you're connected to a Netgear VPN. Uh, you know, it might pop off and go back into the airport extreme because it's rebooting or whatever. So uh, when you do hit save and apply. So then you go down to the next uh, step, which is part four. And part four pretty much tells you about the IPv6. So you have to go in here uh, where it says setup IV, IPv6. So basically you have a whole row of uh, settings up here and then you have sub settings for each of the top tabs there. So we're gonna go into IPv6 and you're gonna make sure you hit it on disable. So you want it disabled, you don't want that on. And then pretty much um, you can hit save and apply settings and make sure you're still on your Wi-Fi uh, and it will restart. And then you go down and you're gonna go now into services, services 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 and you make sure that these are all on here and um, you want to make sure that um, yeah these these three are definitely uh, connected and that's pretty much what it's saying here yeah all of them enabled so you hit save and apply settings don't hit reboot uh, router yet uh, we're gonna do that a little bit later so then you're gonna go down to here and this is VPN now, so services VPN. And then you're gonna make sure that you have uh, open VPN client, not server, but open v client enabled. So you'll turn that on and it'll open up more here. And you're gonna now type in the server IP that you're interested in connecting with. Uh, so to find that out, you're going to click on this link. It will open it in a new tab. And I'll show you what you need to do next. So basically, you have all the servers that uh, PIA uses. Uh, if you open up these, they open up more. They got a couple of more in there. So say you were interested in connecting to uh, the West, uh, the Midwest, or right here, the West, US West. And it'll show you the server, show you the bandwidth and all that stuff. And you could do speed tests to see how fast uh, your downloads and upload speeds are, depending on how many people are connected and things like that. So. Uh, you basically just copy this link right here and you hit copy now you notice in here that the server IP name I can put that link right there into there but it's better to use uh, actual numbers uh, for the IP address so if we open up a terminal uh, by going to um, apps and then going into utilities and then open click on terminal uh, you will get a terminal like this It'll pop up and you type in NS lookup. So let's retype that from the beginning. So we're going to do NS lookup space and then put in that word link US West private internet access. So once you hit enter, you're going to get a bunch of IP addresses, so different server addresses. And you could just pick one out of the blue. Uh, you know that this is all West Coast. So you just pretty much copy and then you paste it into this area right here. Uh, we're on the uh, server VPN tab. So you make sure that this is 1194. That's the default. Uh, you do TUN, uh, UDP for these uh, here. And your encryption is going to be Blowfish CBC. Uh, the reason why I have it on this is because I want that type of encryption and all you have to do is change this from 94 to 96. So basically the way I have it set up here, I have my username and password that they provided me uh, when I uh, signed up for the PIA. And you want to have advanced options enabled. It'll open up some more here and you want to have uh, all of this in. So let's go back to that setup page, the instructions. 
So basically, it's telling you to do all that. It's telling you exactly what to put into this OpenVPN area here. NAT enabled and all that other stuff, okay? So then, uh, it, like I said, optional, if you want the AES uh, 128 encryption, you have to just change your port number that's here to 96 and uh, select it as uh, this instead of the blowfish, okay? So then you have that all set and um, then you want to, what you want to do is you want to copy this here. So you just do right mouse button copy and you want to go down to additional configurations and you want to just put that right in here by pasting this, what you copied, right into here. Then down here, you're going to see this funny looking thing where it has a whole bunch of big different numbers and it says uh, begin cer uh, certification and end cer certification with the dot 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 or the dash 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 dash. And you can see it up here, it says begin certification dash 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 dash. So how to get that is you want to click on here on this website here. You want to open it up into a new uh, one there. And that's that certificate. Actually, we already downloaded it when we started. Uh, so here it is. Remember this thing we put down here? It has the certification already in it. So if you right mouse button on the certification and you open with, uh, you'll hit other. And then you'll scroll down to you see that not your notes app, but your text edit app. And you hit open and you have your entire certification here. So you're going to copy the whole thing, including the dashes and the begin and the end certification. You're going to right mouse button copy or whatever way you copy. And basically you're going to throw it right into CA certification on the D, uh, DWRT. So put it all in there. And then after you put it all in there, uh, you have the certificate now. You have the um, IP address, the server IP address. Um, now, every time you want to switch different servers, like you want to do East Coast, West, Midwest, you want to do Shanghai or whatever they offer, you just replace this uh, IP, uh, and you'll be able to you know switch different uh, ones. So you just got to log into your DDWRT control panel and change that uh, IP address to get different locations. Uh, ones with better speed, you can always check to see how fast they're running and things like that. So then uh, you would do save and uh, apply settings. And then um, what you can do is now you just go into status and you go into um, open VPN. And you're going to see now it's going to say client uh, connected success. That's how you know you have it working perfectly. So now that second router that we have on our uh, in our home is now got a open VPN uh, with a private VPN configuration in it. So now every time you click on your little Wi-Fi there, you can in you can connect to this router and have VPN connection. Now I know for a fact that it works because I sent a ticket into uh, DDWRT. Uh, support ticket and also to the uh, PIA open uh, VPN um, uh, PIA uh, in, uh, VPN access um, company and I sent these tickets in and I told them my exact configuration and they told me it works now this is great because now the the uh, Apple TV has a lack of uh, being able to connect a uh, VPN to it and now you can connect your Apple TV to this router and get VPN uh, protection any devices that you connect to it you get VPN protection now when you're outside of your house uh, you can go on to the website and like I said download um, different you, let's go in here and go to di downloads here and like I said you can connect you can use the app and install that app from their app store right onto your devices and when you're outside of the house you can use that you can switch it to on choose where what server you want to use and now you have open VPN um, even when you're traveling on the road or you're connected to Starbucks Wi-Fi or something like that so you protect yourself now it's not only about downloading torrents and copyrighted material you also protect yourself from uh, hackers that will hack through the Wi-Fi and into your computer uh, because when they try to do that they'll see the server 
uh, a VPN server's uh, IP address, and they can't do nothing really to you. Uh, kind of puts you in a tunnel so that nobody sees what you do. And also, like when you're in school and you want to try to watch uh, something that's restricted, it will lift the restrictions because you're actually uh, fetching up uh, certain websites to the server, and they don't have these restrictions on it. So uh, that's a good thing. And then the other thing is if you're traveling abroad or you're in a different country, uh, and, but you're from America, say, for instance, and you want to watch Netflix, you'll be able to do that because you could connect to a VPN that's in the United States and, uh, you know, you could watch all your things just like if you were sitting in your home. So I hope you uh, understand all the things I explained to you. I'm open to questions. Um, I think there's nothing else to talk about. Uh, I showed you how to connect it. Uh, like I said, if you want to use the app, uh, individually on each device and use the PIA uh, VPN service you can do that or if you want to install that second router you could do that also so I hope this was helpful stay tuned for more great videos I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you on the next video thank you